Most of this information comes from instructions for Schedule 8812, credits for qualifying children and other dependents, tax year 2022, specific instructions you can find on the IRS website irs.gov irs.gov looking at the income tax formula we're down at the bottom in the credit area remember in the first half of the income tax formula is in essence an income statement ending with the taxable income which is similar to net income in a normal income statement we're then going to calculate the tax based on the taxable income not with a flat tax not with one rate in other words but with the progressive tax system to get to the tax before credits and other taxes then we deal with the credits and other taxes like the self-employment tax and we deal with the payments in the form of estimated tax payments or the withholdings finally getting to the tax refund or tax due note that we have this breakout between the credits on two lines we have the credits up here and then the credits down here that is generally to deal with the issue of having refundable and non-refundable credits when we think about an income tax system normally you would think it would not be correct to have credits that bring the tax liability below zero so the credits up top here are typically those that are non-refundable they will not bring the liability below zero the ones down here are the ones that are refundable meaning if your liability goes below zero you might still get a quote refund end quote which is really kind of a benefit program the tax code being used as a benefit program in that instance all right, specific instructions. Part one, child tax credit and credits for other dependents, all filers, line number four. We'll take a look at this in more detail with some uh, examples of the forms in future presentations. Right now, we'll just go through the line items. So, so add the number of boxes checked under, quote, child tax credit, end quote, in column four of dependents section on form 1040 or 1040SR and enter the results on line four. So first page of the form 1040, you have then all of your information. You've got your personal information, your social security number, your spouses, their social security number, your dependents, their social security numbers. And then in the dependents section, you're going to be checking off if they qualify for the child tax credit or other dependent credit. You can't have both of them checked off, just one or the other. And then on page two, we can then kind of interpret what's going to happen with regards to the calculation for the credits just by glancing at page one and whether you checked off the box for child tax credits or other dependent next to your uh, dependents so caution you cannot check both child tax credit box and the credit for other dependents box for the same person if you do that that would be a big red flag you would think to the irs and there could be a delay on the return so line number six Add the number of boxes checked under, quote, credit for other dependents, end quote, in column four of the dependents section on form 1040 or 1040 SR and enter the result on line six. So line 13, enter the amount uh, from credit line worksheet A. So we'll go into, I won't go into the, the worksheet in a lot of detail here because we want to get the general concept down and then rely to some degree on the software so that we can basically communicate with people in terms of the projections that, that we can, their tax planning, as well as just explaining the credits. As, and then we can use the software to kind of uh, back into, let the software do the calculation and then try to verify the calculation to make sure it is correct. So when completing credit limit worksheet A, you may be instructed to complete credit limit worksheet B if you meet certain conditions complete credit limit worksheet B only if you meet all the following. One, uh, you are claiming one or more of the following credits. B, uh, you've got, sorry, A, mortgage interest credit form 8396. B, the adoption credit form 8839. C, residential clean, uh, clean energy credit form 5695 part 1 D District of Columbia first time home buyer credit form 8859 so these are kind of more unusual type of situations that could complicate the calculation possibly because it, it might have a, a calculation adjustment for like the modified AGI calculation uh, or something like that these are areas where of course tax software uh, is helpful 
because hopefully the tax software, if you're doing the data input properly, can help to pick those kind of uh, changes up. And then you can kind of double check and verify by deconstructing uh, to make sure everything's properly done. Two, you are not, fi you are not filing uh, form 2555. Three, uh, line four of schedule 8812 is more than zero.